Hey guys, today we're going to be working on three classic chairs. This is my intro to sketching video. These are the, this is the preview of the three chairs we're going to be working on today. I also have a free mini course that you can um, see. This is with real-time video and voiceover instructions, step by step on what I do and how I approach things. I also have a basic sketching in pen and pencil real-time instruction video. Um, that you can access as well. I'll leave that the link to those courses in the description below and uh, let's get started. All right, first up is the ball chair. So with that, uh, we're going to start with a basic circle. Um, then you're going to think about the center of the circle and draw a center guideline and use that, that center guideline to help make sure that your form is symmetrical. So um, I usually use very loose gestures when I'm drawing or sketching because this isn't going to be like a final finish work of art. This is just for me to get to know this chair, this form. And for interior designers, you know, you basically want to keep um, sketching and draw the things that you like, the things that you would like to include in, in a room. It's almost like you're creating a, a visual library of all the things that you like and the things that you can draw so that when you're sketching for your client or sketching an idea you can quickly think of I know how to draw this chair I want this chair and then and that's why you practice sketching um, but this is basically how I approach anything that's curvilinear in form or spherical in form I draw a center guideline and now that I've added all the shading on top of it you can't even see my guidelines it kind of goes away and um, so that's why you want to use that center guideline both vertical and horizontal so you can keep your forms level and upright. So be sure to check out my free mini course on drawing this ball chair and the other two chairs in real time where I kind of walk you through step by step in real time um, my approach to this chair. Um, if the, for those of you who are more beginners, um, you should check that out because it's a free course and it's also in real time. It goes by super slow so you can absorb it instead of this super fast time lapse one I have right now. Next up is the tulip chair. So again, I'm going to use a horizontal guideline and a vertical guideline. That way I can almost start with a cylinder form. Um, so I can get my curved base and my curved top and it looks like it's upright. I use that center guideline to um, do the kind of cone-like forms on the bottom and top so that it's symmetrical. And then I'm going to look and observe the arms uh, of this chair. Uh, you're looking at positive and negative space, not just the positive of the chair, but the negative, that silhouette that the chair makes. Um, and this particular chair has a very distinct silhouette, so you should be able to observe, you know, the lines, if it's rising, if it's falling, if it's level, um, you know, if it's leaning. So once you get your form the way you like it to be, then you can start shading in um, where you see it's dark or it's light because that gives you a look that it's a three-dimensional object instead of just a line drawing. I mean, you can keep it a line drawing if you want it to be, um, but if you want to show or indicate that it um, has some volume, then you're going to go ahead and shade it. Okay, the next chair is, a, is an Eames chair. Um, so we're going to start with the basic cube. So I'm drawing a box right now. And keep in mind when you're looking at the furniture, you're going to see 
know if the seat is level or if it's angled down like this particular chair so right now I'm doing the back side of it and again you want to look at the positive and negative space when you're drawing these things because the biggest uh, mistake I see students do is they draw the chair seat as if they can see the entire seat and it's like a rectangle or square but when you're looking at things in perspective if you're looking at things you know from a distance you're not going to see the entire of the seat unless you're superman and you've somehow like hopped up on top of the ladder and you've looked down at the chair so you know really observe how much of the top you really see and then you know look at the negative space look at the space in between the legs which side is larger um, you know did the legs flare do they go straight down this is a seat equal front and back or does it uh, get wider in the front so these are the things that you're going to observe when you start um, practicing your sketching skills it's all about observation and then when you like the form then you start shading and then all those construction lines that you had given earlier they kind of go away and honestly sometimes it just makes it a little more, more interesting All right, guys well those are the three classic chairs that we've drawn today I hope that helps you draw and uh, introduces you to some beginning sketching uh, make sure if you're interested to check out the free mini course I have on these three chairs so that you can get the real-time instructions on the step-by-step -step and how I do it as well as um, if you want to look at the expanded sketching I have about 16 items that I show you how to draw from beginning to end and the approach I take. All right, I'll see you next time.